Pack it here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Cerberus seemed popular for a while. They were fighting the Collectors while the Council sat and watched. And now they're killing civilians and attacking our allies. Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Navaria. The Cerberus scientists are safe with the Alliance. The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. You turn it into a regular marine. Yes, well, I guess you're rubbing off on me. Hoping to, anyway. is gonna have a hard time recruiting now. How's Jacob? He'll be okay. <sighs> Glad to hear it. <laughs> nice to see those Cerberus scientists come to their senses. After everything he's done, the elusive man can't pretend he's fighting for humanity. Anyone who isn't indoctrinated has to see that by now. Glad we got out early. What's on your mind, Edie? Liara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I'm speculating whether, if you went far enough out or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equaled three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. Commander, Dr. Chuck was sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Sure, you want to play this game? What's the matter, Vicarian? You chicken? I don't even know what that is. Though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it. But if you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. Back in my CSEC days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought off a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had. Now, I tracked down this guy, Saren. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. You're right. I was with Shepard from the very beginning. That just means you're old. I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use him. Hey, Commander.
Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise-sized brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... indulge my impatience. You grab the glasses. I'll open the bottle. And Jeff says, Jack, Jacqueline, subject zero, is sorry, but it's ma'am to me. I'd like to keep my Admiral Winky. Oh, Shepard, you know, I just realized. You've never called me by my first name. Well, neither have you. And I never will. You are Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel, conqueror of the Collectors, savior of the galaxy. Using your first name just disrespects everyone you're fighting for, alive or gone. <laughs> that makes no sense. Consider it a lady's prerogative, then. Come, let's have a toast. To a woman I'm proud to call my friend. I am lucky to have you with me, Karen. And to you, dear friend. It is my great honor to share this journey with you. Commander Shepard, and good fortune to us all. I've learned my lesson this time. Even a Krogan couldn't match you drink for drink. So, Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. Still think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. Funny you mention those. Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. You know you have. I'm Archangel. Maybe I heard something about that, too. Hmm. Then maybe you also heard that for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did a little house cleaning. So you ran a cleaning service on Omega? Back on Fell Prime, I uncovered a pair of harvesters. Had to kill them by myself. Two worm necks, that's almost impressive. Oh, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly it. <laughs> the Alliance teach you to make up crap like that, or did you figure it out all by yourself? It's a gift. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the Council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal... And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. You've been through a lot, Scars. You giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. Glad that Jacob guy is gonna be all right. <laughs> 